Good afternoon guys from a very sunny Folkestone in my garden on Thursday today the 1st of July. Pinch punch and all that. Um, every Thursday we have a weekly paper which is called the Folkestone Herald. <clears throat> comes out every week. So this is Thursday the 1st of July. £1.50. Crazy. But this caught my eye. This caught my eye, which is why I bought it. Fairer system for asylum-seeking kids needed, page six. So I thought, okay. All right, uh, let's just have a little look, see at it, shall we? So let's have a little look. And I don't worry, I'm not going to read it all out for you. It's not Jack and Ori or story time, but I just want to give my thoughts on it. Fairer system is needed for young asylum seekers. Council wants help from other local authorities. Yes, right? Kent County Council is swamped. Okay, that's a fact. My mum used to work for Kent County Council and her caseload meant that she got up at four o'clock in the morning and didn't stop work until nearly nine o'clock every single day doing this, right? So I can only imagine how many of her colleagues who are still working for Kent County Council are coping. They can't. Anyway, council wants help from other local authorities. Okay, so this is what it says here. Don't worry, I'm not going to read it all, but I just want to make a few points. A fairer system to accommodate vulnerable young asylum seekers traveling to the UK who are seeking haven from their home countries have been requested by Kent County Council. All right, yeah. And so they should. Uh, the authority has not been taking in asylum-seeking children aged under 18 into its care since around the 14th of June. Hmm. Around 242 youngsters arrived in Kent between January and June this year. Um, I've got a Freedom of Information request from the Home Office. Alex Belfield talked about 24 unaccompanied under the age of 16 so that makes that 218 218 now having been down to the docks and actually filming no these are guys that are claiming to be under 18 these are guys that are claiming to be under 18 they're not they're not but this is down as a statistic here 242 which means 218 right are possibly fake right are possibly fake Anyway, a total of 52 have been transferred to the care of other authorities under the Voluntary National Transfer Scheme. 52. A total of 52. No wonder Kent can't cope, right? At Kent Council Cabinet meeting on Thursday, June 24th, it was revealed that caseloads have increased considerably above manageable levels, putting the safety of youngsters currently under the authorities' care at risk. No they are not. Let's be honest here. Can we have an honest debate? Can we actually just say, right, there are guys that might be 19, 20 that are told, say you're under 18, say you're under 18, and now you're a young asylum seeker. This is absolute bunkum. Not going to read the rest of it. It's basically just talking about um, counsellors saying the help. All right, here you go. Listen to this. The county council is currently supporting 1,100 care leavers, unaccompanied asylum-seeking adults aged between 18 and 25. The help includes access to edu education, accommodation, and job opportunities. Well, why don't you go into folks in town centre at night? Why don't you go into folks in town centre at night and see... The homeless, right? The ones with PTSD, the ones that have been kicked out, the ones that have a drug problem, the ones that have an alcohol problem, the ones that really, really need our help, rather than this bunch of, of bloody um, economic shysters. Anyway, the Home Office has been involved in constructive courts with the council, resolving the situation for the past 10 months. But, right, guys, it's never going to stop. Until we can tow the boats back, this is going to be for the foreseeable. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. You know, once again, like I say, thank you very much for your 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 kind words, your comments, your shares, your subscribes, everything, everything. You know, I'm, I'm, it's it's brilliant what you do. Um, but anyway, goodbye from my garden. <laughs> Have a good day. I'll see you later. All right. Bye.